Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Wanted to update you on the result of the first Varsity 8 race. We have official word from Tom Hebink at the finish line. It was Princeton in first. That photo finish between Georgetown and Drexel. It was Drexel coming in second place by three-tenths of a second over Georgetown. So Drexel has been second place all day today thus far. And then Temple routed out the field in that one. We pick up this next event. It's the men's second varsity eight race. We are mid-race. As we pan across, furthest from the camera, out in lane one, Georgetown University. Lane two, Temple. Lane three, Drexel. Lane four, Princeton. We are approaching 1,000 meters in, and it appears as though the Princeton Tigers have taken the lead halfway through this race. It's a close one. Princeton is sitting up bow to stern over Georgetown. Georgetown up one boat length over Temple. Temple up about six, seven seats over Drexel. Drexel two seat. John Little has actually been chosen as a bad boy for the Philadelphia Phillies this summer. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, go Phils. Go Phils. They have a game later today, I believe. I assume he won't be making that one. No, and I hope he didn't make the one last night. We pan across. We approach about 800 meters to go here. Princeton, closest to the camera, in lane four. They have taken a lead. They are just about to break open water. They have broken open water over Georgetown, who's out in lane one. Georgetown sitting in second place. They're up one boat length. Still maybe a smooth overlap over Temple. Temple, second varsity eight, now starting to inch back into that Georgetown lead, an inch away from the Drexel Tuvi, who is rounding out the field in lane four, current, or excuse me, in fourth place currently. Drexel just slightly off the pace in this second varsity eight event. Princeton Tuvi looking pretty composed here. They are striking about a 35, 35 and a half. Again, ratings have been, I would say middle of the road here. Conditions are a little bit heavy. This wind has been kicking up second half of this race all morning. So a little bit harder to maintain high ratings, Tommy, as that happens. But Princeton staying long, staying connected, staying aggressive with 500 meters to go. That's right, Keenan. And, um a lot of teams around the league are going to be looking to this second varsity race uh, to judge the depth of a program. You can always see the top end speed with the first varsity, but the, the second varsity and the third, that's where you can really start seeing how an entire squad is shaping up for the season. That's exactly right, Tommy. And it looks like the uh, Princeton Tigers, Princeton, the temple of Western New Jersey, are in a commanding lead uh, over the rest of the field. Back to Georgetown, who's about a length uh, a little bit of overlap over Temple, and Temple just breaking open water over Drexel. Princeton has been dominating this one so far today. There's still plenty of regatta left, but it's been all Princeton all morning. Princeton consistently open water advantage over the field. There has been a good battle between second, third, and fourth so far today. We're seeing a slightly different result in this second varsity eight race. It is Georgetown in second place Open water now over Temple. Temple looks like they're breaking just a touch of open water over Drexel. But we pan ahead to the first place crew, your hometown Princeton Tigers in the second varsity. Final 10 strokes of the race. They are up about a boat and a half of open water. Last couple strokes. Princeton in dominating fashion. They are through the line. Now it is Princeton over Georgetown with a nice little sprint there by the Georgetown 2V. They are through now. Up about three quarters of length of open over the Temple Owls who are through now. And they were able to break it open to a touch of open over the Drexel Dragons. So that's how it's going to end in the men's second Varsity 8 race. We'll meet you back probably at the 1,000 meters for the final event of the heavyweight men this morning. 8.30 sharp, we'll see you there. It'll be the men's fourth and fifth.